from Louisiana's home team. This is Fox 8 News at 8 a.m. Well, after the New Orleans Saints game, Fox rolled out the red carpet for the 63 annual Primetime Emmy Awards. Always a lot of fun. And here now to recap who wore what to strut down the red carpet and talk about kind of the do's and the don'ts. Elsa Broadman, local fashion designer, we sure thank you for coming in this morning. Oh, thank you so much. I'm sure this is exciting for you. Being a designer, this is something you look. You're looking at what each person has, the colors, the styles. What, what stood out for you last night? Um, there was definitely lots of reds and blues, a very numerous amount of red gowns. A lot of reds. Yes. That, that was the one thing that really stood out to me in the pictures that I looked at this morning. Oh, yeah. Beautiful color. Yeah, lots of reds, lots of like full gowns, lots of trains uh, going on. Um, I mean, there was... Um, you know, it, actually, for the for the for this year, the dresses were fairly strong. So I mean, it was a little bit more difficult normally than I would have to say, like picking like the ones that I didn't really care for. So is red a color that we're going to be seeing more of? That vibrant red. Um, I mean, with falls, it's definitely more like blues and browns yeah. and purples. So I think like later on in the awards, you know, the, as the award season progresses, it's going to be more colors of that nature. But I mean, there's actually a lot of vibrant colors as well. Maybe it's because it's still transitioning into fall. So. Yeah. Fall is this Friday. I yeah. want to go ahead and take a look at some of the, the pictures, mm -hmm. and I guess we'll go through uh, the do's first. Oh, definitely. One of my favorites was the Evan Rachel Wood gown um, by Ely Saab. It's just a very classic, beautiful fit gown. Um, you know, so Evan elegant. I know. Look Evan Rachel Wood always looks beautiful in what she wears, and that was definitely a strong one. Um, the next one's actually by uh, Zuhair Murad, and it's uh, Jama Mays is wearing it. It's beautiful, like pale pink. You know, also very classic, very girly, but still very um, sophisticated. I was going to say, what is that material? Um, I think it's something probably about like a tool. And yeah, it has tool, like a really a nice thing. belt as well. That's, that's a different look. This is the one that really stood out to oh, me. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is a Donna Karen gown. It oh, was definitely a gorgeous. showstopper. The fit is beautiful, and then just the mermaid shape just looked really beautiful. Um, on her body, um, who is uh, being worn by Nina Dobrev, actually. I mean, she has a great figure, and the color just pops at you. Yeah. Okay, definitely. now we're moving on to the, some of the don'ts. Yeah, Adriana Palikis, it's not that it's not a you know badly designed gown. It's just that it, the fit was kind of bad, and then also there was a lot of wrinkling around the um, the stomach area oh, as no. well. So it just wasn't the most flattering gown for her. I think that, you know, maybe she sh you know the fit should have been kind of uh, focused on when they were putting it on her. And this is also the um, Gwyneth Paltrow <laughs> gown. It's not that it's a bad gown also, but it's just the midriff was showing, which is kind of inappropriate. And I think the tool detail also was not the most flattering um, along the stomach. Because she's a, you know, a very fit woman, and it would have probably looked better without the tool. Yeah, she's a beautiful woman. I noticed a lot of the black and um, the nude. I don't know if that's like a lace or what, but I noticed a few dresses with that same type of material. But yeah, yeah. that one kind of stood out to me as, you know, it, it just wasn't was, one of the favorites. Yeah, definitely. It, I mean, she's worn other, she's worn stronger gowns in the past, definitely. Um, Christina Wiggs as well. I just felt like the color was a little off, and then also the fit in the bust was a little, um, it just it didn't fit right. And the drape, I just feel like the waistline should have been um, on her a little bit differently, maybe a little higher. It looks like it kind of pulls her, weighs her down a little bit. Exactly. But yeah, I mean, you never really saw one that was just like so bad, you know? I mean, yeah. everybody just, I mean, it's usually their best night. They're looking their best. And really beautiful, beautiful dresses. Here are some others right here. Oh, yes, this Again. is when you're going in the trends of blue, um, and Kate Winslet also is wearing some, um, a red gown. I think Sofia Vergara also is wearing red. And this is Leah Michelle. I love that one, too. I love the cap sleeves. Yeah, Sofia Vergara looks great in that one, too. The mermaid shape just looks so great on her figure. All of these women look red, uh, great. Katie Holmes? Oh, yes. Yeah, lots of vibrant colors. And are these some trends that, did you see any trends that stand out that might last into the fall season? I mean, I think definitely people are going more towards the whole Hollywood glamour kind of feel. I mean, even, um, you know, it's just, it's such a more classic feeling and maybe it's, maybe it is a little safer, but it's just very flattering in the figure as well. So, you know, I, I love it. I love classic Hollywood glamour gowns. So it's definitely up my alley. I just saw Kelly Osborne too. She looks great, by the way. Oh, yeah. She has lost a lot of weight in really good shape. Well, um, we sure appreciate you being here. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about Elsa Broadman's designs, here's her website right here. Thank you so much. Oh, no it, it was fun, and I'm sure it was fun for a lot of people to watch. We appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Very nice meeting All you. All right, thanks.